Turing interface, DNA is replicated in two centrosomes with centriole pairs are formed from one centrosome. During prophase, the nucleoli disappear and chromatin fibers become more tightly coiled, condensing into chromosomes that are observable. Metaphase, the longest stage of mitosis, often lasts about 20 minutes. During metaphase, the, so the centrosomes are at opposite poles of the cell. The chromosomes convene on the metaphase plate, an imaginary plane that is equidistant between the spindle's two poles. The chromosome centromere lie on the metaphase plate. Anaphase is the shortest stage of mitosis and often only lasts a few minutes. Anaphase begins with the cohesion proteins that are cleaved. This allows the two sister chromatids of each pair to part suddenly. Each chromatid thus has become a full-fledged chromosome. The two liberated daughter chromosomes begin moving toward the opposite ends of the cell as their kinetic or microtubules shorten. Because these microtubules are attached to the centromere region, the chromosomes move centromere first. Telophase Two daughter nuclei form in the cell. Nuclear envelopes arise from the fragments of the parent cell's nuclear envelope and other portions of the endomembrane system. Then the nuclei reappear. The chromosomes then become less condensed. Mitosis, the division of one nucleus into two genetically identical nuclei, is now complete. During cytokinesis, the division of the cytoplasm is usually well underway by late telophase, so the two daughter cells appear shortly after the end of the mitosis. In animal cells, cytokinesis involves the, infer the formation of a cleavage furrow, which pinches the cell in two. During prophase 1, chromosomes begin to condense, and the homologs loosely pair along their lengths, aligned gene by gene. Crossing over, the exchange of corresponding segments of DNA molecules by non-sister chromatids is then completed while the homologs are in synapsis, held tightly together by proteins along their lengths. Each homologous pair has one or more chiasmata. Points where crossing over has occurred, and the homologs are still associated due to cohesion between sister chromatids. Centromere movement, spindle formation, and nuclear envelope breakdown occur, as in mitosis. During metaphase 1, pairs of homologous chromosomes are now arranged on the metaphase plate, with one chromosome in each pair facing each pole. Both chromatids of one homolog are attached to the kinetic or microtubules from one pole. Those of the other homolog are attached to the microtubules of the opposite pole. In anaphase 1, the breakdown of proteins responsible for sister chromatids cohesion along chromatid arms allows homologs to separate. The homologs then move toward opposite poles, guided by the spindle apparatus. The sister chromatids cohesion persists at the centromere, causing chromatids to move as a unit towards the same pole. At the beginning of telophase 1, each half of the cell has a complete haploid set replicated chromosomes. Each chromosome is composed of two sister chromatids. One or both chromatids include regions of non-sister chromatid DNA. Cytokinesis usually occurs simultaneously with telophase 1, forming two haploid daughter cells. In animal cells, a cleavage furrow forms. In prophase 2, a spindle apparatus forms. Later in prophase 2, chromosomes each still composed of two chromatids associated at the centromere, move towards the metaphase 2 plate. During metaphase 2, the chromosomes are positioned on the metaphase plate, as in mitosis. Because of the crossing over in meiosis 1, the two sister chromatids are, of each chromosome are not genetically identical. The connecticores of each sister chromatid are attached to the microtubules extending from the opposite poles. During anaphase 2, the breakdown of proteins holding the sister chromatids together at the centromere allows the chromatids to separate. The chromatids move towards opposite poles as individual chromosomes. During telophase 2 and cytokinesis, the nuclei form and the chromosomes begin condensing and the cytokinesis occurs. Um, the meiotic division of one parent cell produces four daughter cells, each with a haploid set of unreplicated chromosomes. Each of the four daughter cells is genetically distinct from the other daughter cells and from the parent cells.